Hello everyone, welcome to the session EC8092 Advanced Wireless Communication Unit 5 Layered Space Time Codes Multiple choice question and answer for your upcoming examination Let's begin the session First question is Blank space is a method employed to improve the reliability of data transmission in wireless communications system using multiple transmit antennas is called as your correct answer is option A, space-time coded systems. Okay, space-time coded systems is a method employed to improve the reliability of data transmission in wireless communications systems using multiple transmit antennas. Okay, next question, STTC is known as space-time thrills codes. Okay, next, STLC is known as space-time line codes. Next question, STBC is known as space-time block codes. Next question, blank space is a space-time coded which transmits multiple redundant copies of a generalized TCM distributed over time and a number of antennas. In this question, correct answer is option B, space-time thrills codes. Space-time thrills codes is a space-time coded which transmits multiple redundant copies of a journalized TCM distributed over time and a number of antennas. Okay. Next question. In blank space, the space-time codes receiver doesn't know the channel impairments, channel impairments but knows the statistics of the channel. Your correct answer is option A, non-current. In known current, the space-time codes receiver doesn't know the channel impairments but knows the statistics of the channel. Next question. Space-time block codes are optimal with respect to capacity when code rate is 1. Okay. Next question. Large-scale fading can be mitigated with the help of option C is correct here. This is macroscopic diversity technique. Large-scale fading LSF can be mitigated with the help of macroscopic diversity technique because it's done by selecting a base station which is not shadowed when others are. The mobile can improve substantially the average signal to noise ratio, SNR ratio. Okay, this is average SNR. Okay, next question in space time thrills quotes the slope. Blank space in diversity gain. Correct answer is option B. Increases. In space-time thrills codes, the slope increases in diversity gain. Next question. In Alamati model, it's assumed that blank space transmit antennas and blank space receive antenna. Your correct answer is option B. 2 and 1 respectively. In Alamati model, it's assumed that 2 transmit antenna and one receive antenna okay next question for fast fading channels the coherence time of the channel is smaller than of transmitted signal here correct answer is option a symbol period okay for fast fading channels the coherence time of the channel is smaller than of transmitted signal is called as symbol period okay next question which of the following is not a channel parameter here, correct answer is option D, wavelength. Wavelength is not a channel parameter. At the other hand, symbol period, baud rate, and bandwidth. They all are the channel parameter. Next question, label crossing rate is a function of mobile speed. Okay, LC rate is a function of mobile speed. Next question, which of the reception problems below that is not due to multipath is called as slow fading. Okay, slow fading of the reception problem below that is not due to multipath. Okay, next question, which of the following is not a principle of shape factor? Correct answer is option A, angle of arrival. Angle of arrival is not a principle of shape factor. Next question, annular construction is a measure of how multipath concentrates about azimuthal direction is 1. Correct answer is 1. Annular construction is a measure of how multipath concentrates about azimuthal direction is 1. Next question. 
In selection diversity, the gain of each diversity branch provides different signal to noise ratio is true or false? Is false because selection diversity uses M demodulators to provide M diversity branches. Their gain is adjusted to provide the same average signal to noise ratio for each branch. That's why the statement is in selection diversity the gain of each diversity branch provides different SNR is false. Next question. Frequency diversity is implemented by transmitting information on more than one blank space carrier frequency. Your correct answer is option A. Carrier frequency because frequency diversity is implemented by transmitting information on more than one carrier frequency. Frequency diversity is often employed in microwave line of sight links which carry several channels in frequency division multiplex mode. Next question. What do you call an attenuation that occurs over many different wavelength of the carrier? Yo. Correct answer is option A. Slow fading. Slow fading called an attenuation that occurs over many different wavelength of the carrier. Next question. A rear receiver uses multiple correlators. Your correct answer is option A. Next question. The complexity of the receiver is an exponential function of the product of the number of your correct answer is option A. Transmit antennas and the code memory order. Okay. Option A is correct. Next question. Iterative receiver can be applied only to coded LST system. Okay. Correct answer is option B. LST. Next question. Time diversity repeatedly transmits information at time spacings that exceed blank space. Here. Correct answer is option D. Coherence time. Time diversity repeatedly transmits information at time spacing that exceed coherence time of the channel. Thus, multiple repetitions of the signal will be received with independent fading conditions, thereby providing for diversity. Okay. Next question. Interleaving helps receiver convergence. This is called blank space interference cancellation. Correct answer is option A. Soft iterative. This is very important question. Interleaving helps receives convergence. This is called soft iterative interference cancellation. Next question. A posteriori algorithm is optimum in the sense that it minimizes the bit error probability at the decoder output. Okay, here correct answer is option C. Next question. The capacity behavior of wireless OFTM based on Correct answer is option B. Spatial multiplexing systems. Okay. Next question. The influence of physical parameters such as the amount of delay spread, cluster angle spread and option C is correct here. Total angle spread. Okay. Next question. System parameters such as the number of antennas and antenna spacing on. Here correct answer is option A. Ergodic capacity and outage capacity also. Okay. Next question. In OFTM based spatial multiplexing, each antenna transmits statistically independent data symbols from different antennas and different tones. Okay. So here correct answer is option C. Different antennas and different tones. Next question. A delay path across the channel are also called data pipes. Option A is correct. Next question. The orthogonality between the data streams is dependent on the fact that these paths are mutually independent. Okay, here correct answer is option C. Next question, blank space variations within the scatters will, will be neglected. Your correct answer is option A, micro delay. Micro delay variations within the scatters will be neglected. Next question. The subscriber unit SU is surrounded by local scatters so that fading at the surrounding unit antennas is called spatially uncorrelated. Okay, your correct answer is option B, spatially uncorrelated. Next question, BTS is high enough so that it is unobstructed and no local scattering occurs. Option A is correct. Next question. The relative antenna spacing is denoted as, so correct answer is option B. The related antenna spacing is denoted as 
delta is equal to d divided by lambda <coughs> delta is equal to d divided by lambda okay next question the correlation matrix is already take into account the par delay profile of the channel option a is correct next question spatial multiplexing has the potential to drastically increase the capacity of wireless radio links with no additional power or bandwidth consumption okay your correct answer is option c next question the gain in terms of ergodic capacity over SISO systems resulting from the use of multiple antennas is called multiplexing gain option a is correct next question blank space turns a frequency selective channel into a frequency non selective channel your correct answer is option c ofdm ofdm turns a frequency selective channel into a frequency non selective one next question It's clearly seen that the outage probability decreases significantly with increases delay spread. Okay, your correct answer is option C. Okay, guys, now let's wind up the session. See you in the next video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.